Hi. So my home is in London, and uh, considering those particular shoes, the the farthest distance would have been uh, Cambodia. Yeah, actually. So I said I was I, I bought them to for for travels in Asia, and uh, for that uh, during these travels, I I hid fifty euros under the sole of, of one of the in, the in the footbed of one of the one of the shoes. Um, so in an, in an effort to have sort of a security amount of money if I should I lose my things um, somewhere on the way and then um, it turned out that it, that didn't happen at any point so I didn't really need it I didn't need the 50 euros at all um, and then after after all the time walking in the shoes going back to going back to London I, yeah, I took out the, the footbed and uh, the 50 euros were, were ripped in pieces so um, and that was more than the shoes cost so it was a, it was a good it was a waste of money that really depends on the day I mean uh, there's, there's really good days where you look forward to almost anything uh, simple tasks like making a, a cup of coffee can be really nice um, listening to to music on your way uh, to, to some place where you're going to do something that you really enjoy doing. Um, obviously, in a different setting, uh, these things could be could be rather not only uneventful but also un unpleasing simply because you're not in a not in a good mood. I think uh, what really makes my mood bad is having to do things I don't like doing. Having uh, having to speak to people that I, I don't appreciate and having to concern myself with matters that are boring that really that really the last one that is really that really makes my day go um, go bad again you notice many different things on uh, depending on on what what your mood is and some sometimes I will be really focused on on seeing beauty in things uh, in very little things, in, uh, in very obvious things uh, as well. Um, other days, the very same things could not mean anything to me. Uh, at the same time, there's, there's, I guess, there's, there's general things that you would notice about walking in London, which is, which is mm, particularly the London walk. People in London, me included, do walk anywhere like they're in a rush and like they're trying to get somewhere where it's really really important um, even if you just go to the grocery store and it's the worst it's the worst for London is really to to, um, to go to go to places in London where there's a lot of tourists and this is not meant to be saying that the tourists are, are bad people you know you're, everyone is a tourist every now and then but the, the matter of fact is that they just can't walk their London walk and it really obstructs obstructs your habit um, so yeah that's the, 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 the fast pace that's something I would note about London walking what? yeah I imagine I imagine myself in someone else's shoes uh, quite regularly to be honest um, and you're wondering how someone else's life is and for me I think um, there's, there's roughly three groups of people that I often where I often imagine how it would be like to, to walk in their shoes. The first, the first group of people are people that I would generally assume to be less fortunate than, than I am, right? Sometimes that's very obvious, you know, you see someone, you see someone begging for, for food and it's, and it's very obvious that if, if you have a, a food every day then, then that person is less fortunate. You, you wonder how, that, how, how a life focused around these sort of questions, how that life is. It's very difficult to imagine. On the other hand, you, you imagine people as a second group. You imagine people that are, you think they're more fortunate for some reason, right? They, you think they, they, they have more opportunities. You think maybe they have more, um, more money. Maybe they have more influence. Um, and uh, you wonder how, you wonder what you would do in their shoes. I, I suppose you wonder what you would do with with the abilities that you perceive them to have that you don't see in yourself. The, the third group are people that 
that are just extremely different or that you perceive to be extremely different from yourself yeah I mean yeah okay but of course there are like very f physical things that are sort of really essential which is well food water shelter uh, then there's less physical things which are still like very very essential like like health um, like uh, like security safety um, general well-being and of course you, you can't really live you, you, it's, it's very difficult to live without without those right I mean let's imagine living without like a, a sense of safety right without a, without even a sort of basic sense of safety you wouldn't you wouldn't leave your house maybe or if you did you you would be sort of con like restricted in, in what you what you do so it's very difficult to, to imagine a life like that obviously it, 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 many many people in the world lead lead a life like that but, but for me that these are very essential things going going beyond that I think if we once we cover the sort of very essential that's what you need to to live things I think um, what is very important is is a source of inspiration in uh, in your life. Uh, that can be can be many many things. It could be a book, it could be music, it could be uh, your family, your friends, it could be um, your partner, uh, it could be your, your dog or your cat, or your children, whatever. Um, something that that motivates you for life. And also motivates you for for creating something uh, that gives life a purpose, and that that is very very important. In Europe. The truth is that you can move freely in Europe if you're European, uh, and you can really extend that because most Europeans can move pretty much anywhere in the world very freely. You know, I mean, some obviously it's maybe rather difficult to go to some war zones and, and you can't visit military bases and, uh, and there's, there might be some countries where it's more difficult to attain a visa for than others but but generally Europeans are very very uh, privileged in the sense that they can move almost anywhere uh, but it would and that's that's of course desirable but it would be even more desirable to to really uh, make the statement true that that you first uh, set which is that you first stated which is which is you can move freely in Europe and that would include uh, everyone and not only Europeans uh, because that sort of that sort of inequality between people and their freedom to move is really not is really not founded in anything substantial other than state borders I think uh, that I'm honestly in um, in a time of my life where I am still figuring out my, my approach and my way of life. Your general attitude to, towards people, how you handle situations of stress, how much uh, of your day is leisure and how much is work, whether your work is leisure for you and what attitude you take towards work in general, um, how much, how often you see your family, you know, uh, how often you visit places outside of your home uh, how often you just stay home and do nothing these are like this is all uh, approaches it's all part of your of your approach to life and I think I think most people will spend a really really fair amount of their of their time in their life with figuring out how to how to divide their time between these things and how to not only divide the time but also how to divide their approaches to to to, to people or to, to things they do how they interact, uh, how to how to put that together so they so they're happy. Um, and I hope that at some point soon I will figure out what the what the, the right ratio is for me. <laughs> I think on a personal level, I want to have a, a positive impact on the people that I meet, uh, no matter where I go. Uh, also the places where I go that is very very tightly connected to, to the people that you meet in these places I suppose and um, on, a, on, a, on, a, on a still personal level but, but less sort of 
interpersonal relationships it would be that in general you want to have um, a, you want to make I want to make society uh, a little better I mean uh, if I if I can I think that um, if you were to walk in my shoes and if you were to 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 pretty much lead my life and if you wanted to to understand that and I think that the, the, the one thing you should acknowledge is that in anything I do and in most things I say there goes a lot of there's a lot of consideration behind it and uh, there's a lot of thinking behind it and there's a lot of assuming different perspectives behind it and that can be something very very beautiful it can be very very nice because if you were to walk in my shoes this sort of behavior would, would certainly I think open some doors that would stay closed for others simply maybe because they they would go past them without noticing on the other hand it also it is also sometimes quite difficult because uh, it brings it brings along a certain uncertainty of uh, which door to, to go in or where to stay, um, what to say, what to do. I think that's that's a core cool thing. Where would I like to go? In a, in a sense of a development. Um, I think the very fun, the, the most fundamental part is that you want to, that I'm in five years or in ten years or whatever, I mean if I buy really good shoes they maybe last ten years, but if I, if I don't they maybe last like four or something and then maybe in four years I want to look back and say like, hey in these four years I've actually made a development, right? I, that's, that's probably the most essential part is that you, you, wish to, you wish to develop yourself, you don't wish to sort of stagnate in one place. Uh, then you're asking me about the character of that development. Um, I think uh, there, there are certain there are certain goals in in my life that I uh, that I would like to to move closer to. Now you want to know which what these goals are, right? Which is a very very personal question, obviously. Um, so I'm maybe not gonna gonna share every single one of them. But um, but one of my goals is that you know, over time in my life, um, and and as I progress, I have less people above me that can tell me what to do, how to approach something, how to think. Why right? it's not necessarily a bad thing when someone tells you. Um, how to do something if it's if it's a really friendly hint if it's a support a sort of uh, relationship of cooperation but that's that's quite often that's not the case so in four years time I would like to have progressed on that level a little having more responsibility myself pretty much